Cisco yeah. buys another company. I mean, it's yeah, just you like, know, it's, really yeah, cool. no, it, it seems like this is how Cisco basically um, drives its roadmap is through acquisition. And it's definitely um, something that they've done in the past, you know, with many, many acquisitions. But, you know, I think the timing for this is, is quite ideal. Cisco is really focused on uh, delivering its uh, security solutions through the cloud. And what I really like about Armor Blocks is, you know, they've been around for four or five years. So they're just not a startup that they just picked up for some intellectual property. So yeah. they've had some, you know, some track record here. But, you know, again, we're going to talk about generative AI. And, and so this gives Cisco that capability. And what um, executives are claiming is that this will bring intelligence depth, but uh, more importantly, facilitate better interaction and understanding of security endpoints as well. And that's a big challenge within the enterprise. I, you know, I know Matt, you and I kind of do double duty a lot of times on security. And there's been this like proliferation of point solutions. You know, when I talk to customers, an average mid-market company is managing 30 to 50 at a time. You get to a large multinational, it could be hundreds of point solutions. So it's become untenable. And I think this is a smart way for Cisco to, um, again, uh, refine its portfolio, um, focus on its vision and its execution of its security cloud strategy. But I mean, my goodness, you know, you can't swing a dead cat and not hit a generative AI application these days, right, guys? <laughs> or, or live cat, for that matter. <laughs> yeah. Right. Listen, uh, and I just want to disclaimer: we we do not promote uh, swinging cats around. Okay. Uh, on the show. <laughs> Uh, Good point. So Thank you. I own a do cat. Not, so. Please do not pick it uh, my office. Uh, <laughs> AI, AI to uh, calculate how high a dead cat would bounce. So. Exactly. <laughs> so, uh, Will, you're absolutely right. I mean, I, I think 75% of my briefings and advisories are around how uh, enterprises can best unlock the value of generative uh, AI. And by the way, a AI, it's so funny uh, the way that kind of the uh, the hype curve uh, goes. I mean, the first AI algorithms were developed in the 1960s. Yeah. And then we saw AI that was more like analytics, wasn't using this machine learning or deep learning. And then here we are uh, on generative AI, and there were some consumer applications that people thought were just bonkers and, 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 and fun. And we saw um, Google go down $200 billion in value based on the potential threat from Microsoft right. uh, taking that away. We saw NVIDIA go up, you know, the value of an Intel plus a Dell, right? right. In two days. So uh, it's, it, it's, it's top of mind. You see all the SaaS companies uh, putting in there, you know, whether it's Salesforce, ServiceNow, SAP, mm -hmm. uh, IBM apps, it's, it's really everywhere. And when it comes to security, I mean, if the bad guys, bad people, whatever you want to call them, are, are using AI to attack, you have to have, it's kind of like AI spy versus spy, which yeah. we're all old enough yeah. to appreciate that that comic book. But that, that's kind of where we are. So totally makes sense. On, a, on Cisco's earnings call, uh, Chuck outlined three uh, core areas of growth. And number two is security, yeah. right? He talked about right. the Cisco security cloud, which I like to call it fabric, right? It's essentially networking. To get the security cloud, you have to have the networking fabric. Yeah. Right? All the context around it, yeah. Yeah, it's like a twofer, and I like it because it it really makes the hybrid multi-cloud a reality because enterprises know that they're going to be multi-cloud and they're going to have some of it hybrid. And I, I like that play that, that Cisco is making here. Yeah, lots of headroom, I think, for them in security, for sure. 